Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome back to ingvid.com. Today, the lesson is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. It's not so much about grammar or vocabulary, it's about English meaning. Now, I understand that all of you are studying very hard. You're reading, you're looking at the dictionary, you're writing, you're speaking to as many people in English as you can. But sometimes you get a little bit confused. You're watching a movie from Hollywood, you're watching some English TV show, and you know that you understand the words, you understand the sentence, the grammar is no problem, yet you're not sure exactly why, but you're missing something. Now, I'll tell you what you're missing. Intonation. You need to understand a lot of what is spoken in English, and I'm sure in your language as well, not only English, a lot of what is meant in English is meant in how the words are spoken, not the words themselves. Okay? So we're going to look at intonation, at accent, at stress in English and how it can change meaning. Now, look at this sentence. I didn't say he stole the money. Very simple sentence, seven words, no problem, right? But I can say this sentence seven different ways and have seven different meanings to this one sentence. Let's look at it. If I put the stress, I'm gonna, this means stress. If I put the stress on the first word, I, it changes the meaning of the sentence, okay? I didn't say he stole the money. I didn't say it. Means I'm suggesting somebody else said it, not me. Okay, no problem. I didn't say he stole the money. You made a mistake. You think I said it, but I didn't say it. Right? I'm stressing this word, so that's where the focus is. That's where the meaning is. Good. I didn't say he stole the money. What am I implying now? Maybe I hinted it. Right? I said, I pointed, right? And you thought, oh, you said he stole the money. I didn't say it. I just hinted it. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't say he stole the money. What does that mean? Somebody else stole the money. So don't confuse it with this person. I didn't say he stole the money. You know, maybe he borrowed it and forgot to bring it back. Or maybe he misplaced it. I didn't say he stole it. Right? <clears throat> I didn't say he stole the money. I'm not, we're not talking about this money, we're talking about other money. He stole that money, not this money. I didn't say he stole the money, right? I'm stressing money means he stole something else. He stole the watch. Somebody else stole the money. It wasn't me, but somebody else stole the money. So you see, one sentence, I stretch, stress each word, I change the meaning completely. Now, for another very good example. I know you all love this word, really. It's a, it's a really interesting word. Of course, there's the everyday meaning, which means very. But native English speakers use this word in many, many situations to give many different meanings, okay? Now, bear with me. I'm not a very good actor, but I'll do my best. Your friend comes to you and says, guess what? I won the lottery. I won $50 million. I'm in shock. Really? Means shocked. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Another situation. My, your friend has two tickets to your favorite band's concert. And he says, I have an extra ticket. Do you want to go? Really? Means you're very excited. You're very happy. This really has a very different meaning. You call your boss. You say, oh, I'm really sick. I can't come to work today. And your boss, he doesn't trust you. He says, really? That really means I think you're lying. I don't believe you. Okay? Another situation. Do uh, you know what flirting is? A girl comes to you and says, oh, I like your shirt. And you go, really? Like that, right? You're flirting. You're trying to play with her. 
trying to get a date out of her maybe. All from one word, you see? All these different meanings from one word. Uh, and let's see, of another another situation. <clears throat> oh, okay, your friend says, oh, guess what? The boss is not coming to work today. Really? It means you're thinking, you're going to do something bad, something evil. You're planning. So these are just a few examples. There are others. I can use this word really in many different situations. Each time, a little bit different meaning. But all of this goes to show, don't worry if you hear something, if you watch a movie or even a song, and you're not exactly sure you got the meaning. That's because it's not about the words. It's about the way they're said. The only way to fix this, to improve, is keep listening, keep listening, watch movies, watch TV shows, speak to as many native speakers as you can. Eventually, you'll start picking these up, okay? Uh, if you like this lesson, please uh, come to ingvid.com. And if you like it on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be happy to give you other lessons. I'm hoping that I can help you a lot with your English. And together, we'll both improve and learn new things. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.